Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Mr. Beast's Extreme Survival Challenge for Fortnite uh, BR uh, mode. The island code is 79906907865. And once you typed in the island code, you'll have the option to play this publicly. I chose uh, because I had no idea. I didn't want to embarrass myself, so my first practice run, I, I ran it on, uh, I chose to run it on private mode, but you have the option to run it with your buddies, or set up your own little survivor competition, but the basic thing is, uh, the longer you survive, the more points you, you earn, the more points you earn, the higher chance you have on winning one million dollars USD that's uh, United States dollars uh, for being the top player on this mission and the mission's called Mr. Beast Extreme Survivor Challenge and I'm a, and then you basically just have to survive the challenge and to survive the challenge you have to run through a series of uh, uh, competitions I made it around seven minutes through the competition so I have a basic understanding of what you have to do you basically have to pay attention and not die not take any damage the longer you don't take any damage the uh, more points you get. I unfortunately don't uh, see myself being coordinated enough to uh, even possibly uh, I, might, I might have a chance to be in the top 100k. Uh, if you're in the top 100k you unlock a Mr. Beast umbrella for your glider uh, on your BR matches. And that's one of the uh, uh, umbrellas that that are shaped like uh, like the umbrellas we get for our first victory royale for the seasons. But as you start up the mission, you are surrounded by uh, very uh, decorative uh, scene. This is the waiting room. They give you the option to select a creator. I have not currently spent uh, any of my V-Bucks that I've collected besides buying a battle pass and I did not have a uh, creator selected but I'm pretty sure there's uh, they want you to pick uh, the creator probably of the map and that's probably a really helpful thing to have during one of your creative maps And this is my uh, my first playthrough gameplay of this uh, private match. I imagine uh, to, for those who've already run this on public, uh, I, I haven't even tried it on public yet. I uh, I only tried this once and determined uh, the people who will make it uh, twenty or thirty minutes probably have a chance if. That is even uh, a possibility for for the challenge, but there's uh, some pretty uh, unique challenges. They're they're not all the same. Like the first challenge was like stay in the circle, and I thought, oh, well, that's uh, that's a Mr. Beast challenge for sure, uh, and uh, he he's always has uh, stay in the circles for his uh, YouTube and then uh, a as it progressed I've uh, y y you'll get the messages popping up on the screen unfortunately on my first uh, playthrough I wasn't even facing the correct direction and all, all of a sudden these uh, 
So if you're facing the direction toward uh, that direction, I'm assuming that's where all the the walls come out. Because the the uh, the thing is, your every single damage you take is gonna add up. And this right here is one of my favorite games. This this was a a red light, green light, like uh, like on one of the other Mr. Beast challenge that he copied from that one uh, red light, green light uh, game with the spinny head. But I. Uh, I was trying to look, and uh, I didn't see the head spinning on on the the statue up there. But it would have been a unique feature if they did add the the spinning head. And I I almost collected every single coin. Uh, I ran out of time. If I if I would have uh, known about the the challenge beforehand, then uh, then maybe I would have lasted longer. And then uh, this. This challenge I didn't quite understand. Like, like I'm saying, this is just a, this is like a test play playthrough. Eventually, I assumed uh, you're just supposed to jump over this thing. A message pops up on the screen saying "emote." I have no idea. I, I've never, I didn't bust off an emote in time before even getting hit. I think that that might be a troll, uh, but. Y'all, y'all figure it out. Uh, for everyone who who's probably uh, tried and played it like ten or twenty or a hundred times already for the practice run, I believe the. Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure, a hundred percent sure on how this how it works. I'll have the the link for the page in the description down below. And the, this is a pretty fun game. It, it reminds me of the Minecraft game where you're. Uh, you run around and the floor keeps falling. Uh, I imagine this with, with team members, you won't be able to pick up as many uh, points. And if the objective is to have the highest amount of points, I'm not sure if the coins come into play. If you're doing this privately and you collect more uh, coins if it's on private versus if you're on public and the uh, the public people are picking up the coins, wouldn't it be better to run the game on private if you if you collect some more points? I, you know, I'm just saying I haven't run this on public, so I don't know if if the coins or those extra points will come in handy at all. I take way too much damage, and the, and then the. I get confused on which floor panels to apparently stand on. Apparently you're not supposed to stand on the ones with the X for, for that match. <laughs> so yeah, and it's like every little thing uh, takes damage. There's explosions all over the place. Holes in the floor randomly. Like, uh, I don't even know, did that hole right there be was there because of the explosion that, that that uh or is that just a glitch glitch tile somehow i don't know and then uh but the the scenery around here is uh also pretty epic and this one right here uh i wasn't quite sure uh why they gave us this uh gun that apparently uh Sticks to whatever you you shoot it out, so I start shooting it at the NPCs around us, and then. Uh, but yeah, th this match, uh, it you apparently just get thrown all over the place uh, somehow, and you're supposed to stay on the platform. I'm assuming with the little suction gun. And uh, if anyone got uh, any other uh, games further on that were like epic, feel free to describe them in the comments. But this game right here wasn't. Uh, I'm not really used to the little suction gun. It, even uh, in a BR match, I'm like, uh, I'll I'll just end up passing this gun up, and I won't even use it. 
it is. It's like one of those. Uh, it's just one of those things you barely want to pick up. You'll pick up if your inventory is empty, basically. You, you'll, you'll you'll shoot it as quickly as possible, just just to just to get rid of it. I know I know some of y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then uh, and then it goes back to this, and then like I I've, like I see the message saying uh, do an emote like several times. I never. Uh, I'm not quick. Apparently, I'm not quick on the emotes. Quick enough. But if anyone knows what happens if you hit the e hit an emote or do what uh, the little Mr. Beast says, I'm, I, it probably. Uh, I'm assuming it's something good, like stops the little lasers, or I'm assuming you're not supposed to jump over it, and then. At this point is when I take my last amount of damage and I, I die. But but you win no matter what level you, you finish it at, apparently. And that being said, that's my $1 million challenge run. I uh, won't be doing that in the future.